Well, crews are working round the clock to save the Sullivans. Here's a look from above. And right now, the ship is still listing and taking on water. And the changing weather today is expected to affect this 80-year-old ship. News for us, Chris Hervatas is live tonight at the Buffalo Military Park to explain how. Chris? Hey, Don, with the wind patterns, they think that the Buffalo River here is going to come up about six feet. And this destroyer is top heavy right now as it continues to tilt. So the impact that will have at this point is anyone's guess. Right now, she's stable in the, in the situation that you see her in. Um, as the water level rises, our concern is to make sure that she can be righted in a responsible way. The USS The Sullivans continues to lean. The exact cause of the partial sinking still conjecture. Eyes around the nation are still on the ship. The family of the destroyer's namesake watches from Iowa. There were lots of tears yesterday, lots of tears. Kelly Sullivan is the granddaughter of Al Sullivan, one of the five Sullivan brothers who died serving on the USS Juno in 1942. As we spoke Friday, she wore the Sullivan crest around her neck. I had to quit looking at the pictures because it just it upset me too much and made me cry. It's hard to explain um, how you get connected to a ship, um, but in the Navy, they call the ship a she. And uh, it's, it's like it's a real person. Sullivan has taken part in recent fundraising efforts yeah. to address the aging ship's hull. Those efforts resulted in more than $1 million in donations last year. Knowing the condition of the ship, she still never thought she'd see it list over like it did on Thursday. Never did I dream that this would happen. You know, the, this, this has been an ongoing problem for quite some time, but the Naval Park's done a great job of having the people come out to take care of her. That effort continues, and crews are making the dangerous decision to go into the ship. But they're going in compartment to compartment, making sure that the water is taken out of that compartment and that is not filling up again behind them. As the ship continues to take on water, they continue to pump water out of it. As of late this morning, they were at what's called equilibrium, meaning that they were pumping out as much water as they were taking on. Reporting live at the Naval Park, Chris Hervatitz, News 4.